Hey everyone, hey Stanford. I'm glad to be here at the GPT Builder Summit today. First of all, I want to congratulate the other GPT builders out there. And thanks to Alliance AI for organizing this event and inviting me to speak here. I'm the co-founder of AI Laman Academy, and today I will share with you my journey on what motivated me to build this consistent character GPT. So let me share with you how it all began. I'm an artist and a designer at heart, so I love painting and drawing. The images that you see over here are not AI generated. These are photographs of my hyper-realistic drawings and a photo of me making an abstract painting. My studies and background, though, uh, has been entirely in engineering. So both art and technology are my passion. And it was this moment of sheer curiosity that I started using AI tools and the other open source models to create AI generated images and animations. And I was just having some fun and playing around with these amazing generative AI tools that were built, that were being built back then. And my journey commenced with a simple question uh, that is, how can I unlock my creative potential and how can I help others discover the same, right? And I learned that AI can be used as a design co-pilot to brainstorm concept and design on-brand assets. So if you have a unique concept design on your mind, with AI, you can visualize them in seconds. And this leap from writing prompts to create, you know, to just create some cool looking images of cats that we saw all over the internet uh, back then to practical high quality imagery isn't just impressive, it has been a game changer for the creative industry. So it shows how AI is not just assisting, but transforming the creative process, making it faster, more efficient, and incredibly versatile. Novelty drives creativity, and I realized how AI can help with it. So I decided to co-found AI Lemon Academy, where we help creative leaders and teams to innovate their creative process with AI. So up until now, we have trained over 5,000 creative professionals. We have provided 40 workshops, five boot camps, and several training programs to creative agencies. And one of the most common question from the creative professionals was how to achieve character consistency. So creative directors needed it for the storyboards, artists needed it for the illustrations, animators wanted to create cartoon characters. So we were testing many different workflows to find the best solution with Midjourney and Stable Diffusion and other AI image generators. And we were using multiple images as prompt, for example, training custom model LoRas, testing specific keywords in prompts, but none of them gave 99% of what our students were expecting. There was always something missing in terms of getting that consistency. And that's why I took matters into my own hands and designed a GPT tool specifically to tackle this challenge. And we are talking about flawless character consistency, when you will be able to generate characters in different positions, expressions, style, and scenes. And today, I'm going to share this process with you. So I was playing around with this idea in my head, and I knew how it can be done with all the tricks I had learned. So I took a shot at it, and it took me only one day to create and test this GPT while I was having a short break from attending a recent web summit in Lisbon. And now I'm so happy that creatives are finding value in this and using it every day to illustrate books, creative stories, marketing campaigns, and animations. So how does it work? I designed it to be pretty straightforward for the user to start working with it. And no one has to learn any prompting. They just have to keep answering a set of questions. First, the GPT is going to ask you, should the character be male or female, right? So next, you can choose a style or a theme for the image, right? So you can create Pixar animation, animation style, photorealistic, anime pastel, and you can try around with, you can select which style works for you. And after this, GPT will be creating the first image of your character for you. 
And from here on, you can decide to experiment what kind of variations you need. You can uh, look for different expressions, different actions, and different poses. So here is an example. Hey, if you want to have the same character with different actions, then this is the way to go, right? And it does not have to be a human character, right? It can be a, um, an animal, or if you want to bring life to any object around you, I think that's also possible. People have tried doing this and have found some amazing and hilarious results. So of course, next you can create different poses if you like, and then you can go on from there to generate many different variations of the same character. Well, today I truly believe uh, and I can truly say that imagination is the only limit. So with AI powered solutions, our creativity can reach a whole new level. For example, creating this particular campaign, these are branches arranged in the shape of lungs to signify how important for forests are for our survival. And this took us less than five minutes, uh, taking from the creative brief that we had to the final image that we see over here. Right. So for concept to final delivery, less than five minutes. And now this image can be enhanced again with AI to a photorealistic level, like you see over here, and further animated with AI as well. So same work cannot be done in a short time with traditional methods. So now that we know and see how powerful these tools are, we need to get up to date and know that the future is all about the human and AI collaboration. And let us remember the importance of harnessing this technology for good and using it to empower and uplift human creativity rather than replacing it. So reflecting on my journey, my advice for aspiring developers would be to create technology which fuels boundless creativity and empowers humanity to innovate like never before. All right, so thank you again for this opportunity. And if anyone has any questions, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn or write me an email. It's Sachin at ALMNacademy.co. Have a great day, guys. Thank you very much.